次よきに54年は一瞬のことに思うゆ春の明けぼの50 years gone by but a blink of an eye at the dawn of my new life Flowers, beautiful, colorful, and magical. Who can resist them? Flowers have been an important part in our lives. We use them not only to convey love and happiness, but also grief and mourning. Their beauty touches our heart and soul, which brings us closer to nature. And a Japanese art of flower arrangement called Ikebana truly mastered it. Now let's turn our attention to our guest for today, who has taken the beauty of nature and uses her artistic talent and creativity to transform beautiful flowers, leaves, branches, and even fruits into a beautiful work of art that gives pleasure to the viewers. I am Amy Ryman of the Cupertino TV Productions. I have the pleasure to introduce you the world renowned Ikebana master. Miss Fusako Hoira. Thank you so much for being here, Miss Fusako. Thank you so much for having me today. It's great to be able to talk to you about your amazing life in the Ikebana world. I would like to start by asking you to describe a little bit about your childhood years yes. in Japan.、Mm -hmm. Well, my childhood in Japan was just a normal kid, but、uh, I think I was so much interested in to see the flowers, wild flowers, ro roadside flowers, and in the garden and so on. So, when I was four years old. My father made a very small flower bed for me and to my sister, two years older sister,、uh, two years older than I am. And so we, and he also gave me several seed, small one, a large one, a medium one. So I thought maybe small seed, maybe small flowers.、Mm -hmm. That's four years old. <laughs> and so I put a very tiny seed in the front and getting a bigger and bigger seeds. And the summertime came, and I was just astonished at how beautiful flowers I got from the tiny, tiny seed. That was coxcomb,、mm. red, yellow, and orange. And I, I, I said, "My dad, come over, come over." I said, "What?" He knows what I was going to say. <laughs> so this is what I got it. What the name of it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But he was very, very proud of me. And then uh, uh, 
what he said when he gave me the small flower bed, you must give water. That's what all he said. So I was giving water almost every day, even a rainy day, umbrella, <laughs> <laughs> and umbrellas. So my sisters are laughing. That stupid girl. <laughs> but anyway, my sister on the other hand, she did not pay attention at all. So she did not have any flowers. It just dried out. Oh. But my garden was so beautiful. But anyway, that is what my enjoyment to look at flowers and then the beautiful colors and the small seeds became such a big, big flowers. That is also very, very surprising. So that was my age four. I never forget that. <laughs> so is that um, when you realize that Ikebana is going to be your lifelong career? At four years old at that time, you love flowers so much? Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I thought. It's beautiful and I love. And when I'm crying, when I looked at flowers, I'm smiling. So I, now I can see why I loved flowers, because it's not only beauty, serenity, and comfort, and the comfort for the people who are ill, are mentally ill or are sick, and that's what proved what I have done in uh, uh, when the uh, multiple terrorists attacked the USA. And then the people go into the showroom, and all of a sudden, people are crying. Mm. People are crying. So I thought, maybe I did something wrong. <laughs> But no, it was not. <laughs> People are going out from the door after show, uh, looking at the flower show. They appreciate so much. And Mrs. Hoyra, I want to thank you so much for b doing this flower show because human words cannot comfort us, but flowers did. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. Yes. Now, there are thousands of Ikebana school mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose the Wafu Ikebana? The reason is they emphasize natural beauty. When, they, uh, when you are tired and something, you go into the forest, hear the sounds of wind and green, the trees, those comfort you so much. And this is a real true beauty. And uh, also all the flowers, plant anything, they grow towards sunlight. So when they're facing up more positively, so this is what the, I really felt very beautiful for the natural beauty. Mm -hmm. And this is why I selected this school. The Wafu school. Mm -hmm. Wafu school. So what does Wafu mean in Japanese? Wafu means harmonious wind. Mm -hmm. Fu means uh, wind. Wa is Harmony. Mm -hmm. What's the philosophy of uh, Wafu Ikebana? Well, natural beauty, of course, mm -hmm. and also um, we do not reshape it, the bending so much. Mm -hmm. Of course, they need some little bit of touching to make mm -hmm. it a better shape. However, natural natural branches and flowers as is, mm -hmm. and just clean up. Uh, with uh, uh, dirty things and those things we had to clean up. Mm -hmm. So natural beauty. And also uh, what you have, everyone different have feeling of it. Daily life is different. Mm -hmm. And so whatever you fe feel daily, happy or sad or so joyful, so they, we can express in our arrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, the essence of Ikebana um, elevates the human spirit. Mm -hmm. Also, it uh, creates warm friendship between the people. Also, it um, uh, bridges, it bridges cultures and ages and even nations. That's why I, mm -hmm. I start to feel it by having nat uh, natural beauty. So now, once you were in the United States uh -huh. and you have introduced many Ikebana classes mm -hmm. throughout the Bay Area, 
So how did you break into the teaching profession when you first arrived? It's not well, that easy. No. Um, I, of course, I took, I received a teaching degree in Japan and a more higher degree. And uh, my headmaster at that time, that was the second generation headmaster, he trusted me. Mm -hmm. He trusted me, and so he, when I visited Japan headquarters, uh, he said, could you go to this country, could you go to this country on behalf of me? That's what he says, and I said, my gosh, I was trusted so much. For more than 30 years, Ikebana has been my life. My late headmaster's teaching touched my heart more every day, more than ever. I have to do very best to share this beautiful art, which comfort your comfort and uh, uh, you can see, feel serenity and beauty and those things. So. I decided to do my very best. It looks like you've been to many countries like India, yeah, so South twice. Africa, mm -hmm. and Brazil, yeah. Denmark, yeah. New Zealand, Australia. Uh -huh. yeah. So, and you were there to do demo and, and run workshops. Yes. And to promote mm -hmm. the culture mm -hmm. of Japan mm -hmm. through Ikebana. Right. And because of that, you were awarded by the Emperor of Japan, the highest honor yes. is called the Rising Sun, sun. Uh -huh. Gold and Silver, silver. Rays. Mm -hmm. So that must have been a big, a great honor for you. Yes, I was not expecting something like that. And uh, uh, I went to Japan to receive the medal and they invited us to the uh, uh, foreign ministry and the foreign minister actually gave me the <coughs> certificate mm -hmm. and then a medal. And then after that, they took us, as many, some people too, they took us to the Imperial Palace mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. was able to uh, see him and talk to him a few words the, as Emperor, Imperial Palace. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. <laughs> You have many opportunities to travel to so many countries and be recognized all over the world. And when you are here, what inspired you to start a chapter, a California chapter of the Wafu Ikebana School? Well, first of all, I saw the flowers in the stores and then uh, um, it was, uh, it's the color, colorful flowers, many flowers, but I I did not see like Ikebana looking. <clears throat> so I wanted to share the beauty of Ikebana in the public school instead of private, uh, privately teaching. Um, so I sent my application, uh -huh. but at that time there's no Ikebana school classes in other <laughs> classes. So the school said, we have never had this kind of classes before, and we are not planned, we did not plan to put, add any more school cl classes. So my husband said, hmm, okay, let's go to Sacramento. Sacramento, what is Sacramento? <laughs> he didn't want to give up, huh? And so, no, he said, oh, let's go and let's see how they can see it. So we went to the education department of Sacramento, and then fortunately, I was able to meet the top of the man, uh, person of that department mm. without appointment. Oh, wow. 1969, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, she said, Mrs. Hoyrup, let's try it out. I I was not expecting that kind of word. Let's try it out. So, and she said, I have done Ikebana when I was in Tokyo. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I, we, I met the perfect person. So from education department to the school, direct. 
the class open. But I think the, in this country, uh, they wanted to have that kind of classes in public school system because the first was 13, and they said we need to 14 to uh, open the class. So my husband said, I am her student. <laughs> <laughs> your husband was your first student. <laughs> so I made it 14 numbers. I made the first class. And then a second session, <clears throat> second quarter, <clears throat> they said, Mrs. Holdup, your class is more than full. So how many? 32. Wow. wow. So I had to spread to, to four classes uh -huh. at that time. And then uh, uh, San Jose City College called, and uh, Fusako, you just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fusako, you just say yes. How can I say yes yeah, with that? I don't know any question, or that I don't know why I had to say yes. So I said, I cannot say yes because I don't know why you are asking me. <laughs> oh, you said yes. <laughs> they hooked them. <laughs> So, um, we have class ready for you. Oh, who, who are those students? All the workers, professors. <laughs> oh. By word of mouth, huh? they all yeah. heard about you. Yeah, that was, I thought, oh my gosh, all the p p professors, the teachers of the San Jose City College became one my student. Yeah. And then uh, I thought maybe this is a test for me. Mm -hmm. Testing, but it sure it is, it went good. Okay, so now I would like to ask you, what do you think are the reasons for your success? The reason for the success, I think the reason is we put 100% effort, whatever we can do it. This is my, uh, my philosophy myself. Whatever I have to do, I put 100% what I have, what I can do that day. It looks like it, was, it is very successful because you have been doing this for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you were planning to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Wafu School of Ikebana in 2020. Mm -hmm. But due to the pandemic, it had been put on hold until this year, right. uh, 2023. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so let's take a look at the behind the scenes okay. footage. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Today is the day before the opening of the Wafu Ikebana Flower Show. All the student artists have already put in their best effort to show off their skills in creating their beautiful masterpieces. The exhibit hall is now completely silent. All you hear is your own footsteps and heartbeat. It's like stepping into an enchanted island or a magic kingdom with the greatest floor art one can ever imagine. Each arrangement is unique, elegant, and captivating. This is truly nature's wonder at its best. We're visiting the Quinlan Community Center for the 50th anniversary of the Wafu Ikebana School California Chapter Flower Show. The whole Wafu family and also the local community are very excited about it. I would like to congratulate the Wafu Ikebana Society on over 50 years of sharing peace, friendship, and beauty through Ikebana and Japanese culture. The leadership and compassion of chapter founder and president, Ms. Mrs. Fusako Seiga Hoyup, is reflected in the enthusiasm of this membership. I thank Ms. Hoyup and all the teachers and students of Wafu for continuing your passion for Ikebana. I can think of no more fitting theme than the sound of spring, and I hope all of us may feel refreshed and hopeful while viewing your arrangements. Thank you very much, and I look forward to the show. Thank you very much for listening. And thank you so much for coming to 
the opening ceremony today for the very special flower show marking 50th anniversary of its founding of the Baku Ikebana in California. Um, I believe that it is our duty to share the beauty and the essence of Ikebana little by little to the next generation because the essence of Ikebana elevates the human spirit and creates warm friendship among people. Four, five, <laughs> I instructed three people to make large 360-degree arrangement mm -hmm. three months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, that is my test. Okay, three ladies, you are going to use this, this, this space and all around 360-degree arrangement and the large. Huh? What are we going to do? <laughs> yes. I, we practiced. <laughs> so that made it very, very effective. It's a nice arrangement and all of a sudden you have resting mm -hmm. mentally and physically. Oh, that's great. So I think those are very, very uh, perfect. Important yeah. qualities. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to viewers who are watching us right now? that and also had been to the flower show last week mm -hmm. and really love all those arrangements. But they were not sure if they have the artistic talent to do what they've seen. Okay, so Ikebana, there's no need to have arti artistic sense. Just looking at the flowers, oh, how beautiful. When you feel it, that's a very important thing. You mm -hmm. don't have to do it. but. The, uh, if you want to do practicing, then you might uh, get step-by-step -step lessons. But more, most importantly, if you feel, when you look at flowers, if you feel, oh, how beautiful. This is the most important element, what you needed. <laughs> I have another question. Uh -huh. You are a multi-talented artist. You're not only a, a very good Ikebana master, but you are also a painter. I've seen your painting in your house, <laughs> beautiful. A poet, you write poetry when mm -hmm. you have time. And uh, there is another one that I didn't expect that you would tell me that. Um, you were a mountain climber <laughs> when you were young. Yes. And I would not have imagined that you would have been a mountain climber looking at you so dainty, elegant, and delicate. So, you know, if you can tell me a little bit about uh, <laughs> your mountain climbing experience. Yes, mountain climbing is, uh, I really like, liked it because when you are living on the earth, they're all the same place you're moving around, but when you step up, few steps up, you can see more. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, um, and then, then a little more, 10 meters high, you can see fantastic things. And I said, oh, this is something I had to do it because I like to go to the top of the mountain and see what you can see it. And also, if you go up high mountains, you feel that how small the people, human beings are small animals. That's mm -hmm. what I felt. Mm -hmm. So we cannot complain anything, but we have to enjoy this very nature. Um, this is why I started to climb mountains. Mm -hmm. I went up to the Yosemite Falls a oh, wow. couple of times. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Looks like our time is coming, mm -hmm. um, you know, down to the end. But one last question. Yes. How do you want to be remembered 100 years from now? Or 200 years from now? How do I want to be remembered? Remembered. Hmm. I'm not expecting anything. People that age, they can enjoy that. That's important. But uh, naturally, somebody, they have seen something beautiful and something experienced. Those things, something, those things happen, they might tell you, uh, sisters and brothers, that is enough. 
I'm not, I'm not expecting to be remembered. I'll do my very best every day, whatever I have to do. So that's all. So thank you so much, Ms. Fusako, for your time. I know you're a busy woman, and uh, you took your time out here to share your amazing life with us. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me today. In conclusion, Ikebana is not only a beautiful floral arrangement to look at and enjoy, but it also has spiritual and meditative aspects to it. Every flower, every color, Every container has a meaning and the arrangement correlates to the events in our life. It is a very disciplined and mindful creation. To design a meaningful floral art, you have to focus your full attention to the flowers and materials in front of you. The end result of your creation will bring the natural beauty from the outside into your home, which is the philosophy of Wafo Ikebana. The beauty of Ikebana not only bridges all culture, but all nations as well. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you.